Hello and welcome. This is Christian from Vision 6D. We are going to, to look at how to add the VirtualBox Linux additions here specifically to a Debian version 9 which is called Stretch. As you see I have already installed the Debian version. It's a small size. It's 1000 something through 700 something as a resolution so this means that uh, it's really too small and I would like to increase the, the size. I can't do that till I have installed the VirtualBox Linux edition. So I'm going to, to proceed and to look at how I can do this. So we had to go to, to Devices, which is here in French, it's called uh, Peripherie. So here below we insert the guest edition CD. And here comes an error. So if you get this, we'll look how to go over that. I've opened here a terminal and I moved to the directory which is called uh, media. You see it here, it's what I've done already. If I look into the, the media CD-ROM directory, I will find the VirtualBox Linux additions. They are here, you see. To install the VBox Linux addition, we will need some packages like the, the compiler, the header files, the make tools and all those uh, packages. So to do that, I will install them. So I use apt-get to install them. And they are part of what is called build essential. To which I add a second package called dkms. With that we have the headers and, and all the compiling environment. So you see that uh, it's really pro proposing here G++, GCC, which is all the um, compilation environment as well as the required libraries. And here down, you, you see what was uh, missing, it's here. It's the Linux header that we need in order to recompile the, the kernel. So do you want to continue? Yeah. So now in order to, to access to that uh, requested CD, you see that uh, I have here added again, because it was removed, the ISO file that helped me to, to build the, um, the Debian stretch version. So with this in place now, I can just say, uh, Cancel this. And I'm back here. So here into the virtual machine, of course, in between I rebooted the, the system. So I can look what is into media now. And if I go and look what, what is on CD-ROM 0, I find the, the distribution ISO of the stretch, um, the Debian version 9. I will launch again the installation of the development packages and the header package. You wish to continue, yeah? And you see now it found the, um, the packages meaning it, it went to the, to, to the right CD-ROM. So you see it's really taking libraries after libraries, the GCC pack, you, we see it's installing the compiler, the G++ compiler too. And now it's installing the header part of the Linux kernel. We, we see it uh, right here though, you see? Linux header 4.9, the common part. So far so good, it's uh, done. We can check if GCC is installed just by launching GCC. So of course it's complaining that it doesn't have any file to compile, but at least the compilation is, uh, is available. So the development environment has been installed and the headers as well. So we can go back and continue with what we had to do for the, the installation of the, um, 
uh, guest additions. So I will check one thing by going back to devices here and if I say to insert the image of the addition ones whether it will come back. So it says okay it has an issue with that which is fine for me if there is that uh, issue. So I will go now and look again at the VirtualBox installation how it is, the configuration storage, we still have what we had before so I say here OK so what I will also do is to stop the, the system for the, for the moment so I will look into the configuration and I will go on storage which is stockage here and you, you see the, the distribution here, I don't need it anymore, so I can remove it. And we are going to add a CD-ROM. So we choose a disk. So there, there is one there, but what I want to do is to go into Program Files. And then we have to find Oracle. Maybe I'm not at the right place. Program Data Program. There. Oracle is here to program. And we have here a virtual box. You see, and here we have the guest addition ISOs. Okay, so you see that I have now here as a configuration, I have the CD ROM with virtual box guest additions, and I have my hard disk which is here. I can say to this OK and now I can launch it. OK, it's login. So we needed first apt-get update to make sure packages information is up to date and after that we had to add several packages. So the ones I added were all the necessary for the development environment. Yeah, I'm logged in. And now I'm going to, to move to the media one where we find CD-ROM 0 and CD-ROM 1. What is on CD-ROM 0? Okay, and on CD-ROM 0 you see that we, we have the, the Linux, uh, VirtualBox Linux uh, addition. So we'll change to CD-ROM 0. We will try now to, to launch first the shell before to launch the command itself. And we see that through this we are going through the execution restriction that was on the CD-ROM. Good point. You, you see it's saying now that it's going to build guest addition kernel module. That's why we needed the development environment, GCC and all the rest of the libraries, the headers and so on. So as it says here, we, we should restart our guest edition. And we'll see whether we are able to increase the display size of our VM. We'll be lucky. It's always a bit tension built till we are able to check it. And now we are expecting tadam, 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 tadam. Let's give a look into the settings. And tools here down. And displays which are here. What does it say? 59 hertz. Oh, miracle! You, you see that we have all of a sudden plenty of different resolutions that we can use. So I'm going to increase to, to that one, the DVD format. I'm going to say apply here. Oh, it increased! It increased in size and it disappeared from my screen. That's the best. So let's bring it back. Let's bring it back. Oh, 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 it even went further, it even went bigger. So let's see now. Now we are in full control. You see that strange size here. So I'm going to reduce this. T 
keep changes yeah I keep the changes okay so with that we know now that the virtual box Linux additions are in place I'm going now to shut down the machine again to give it more extensions what I want to give is the possibility to, to cut and paste between the guest and the host and I want to be able to share files between the guest and the host. So we'll go here into configuration and what I want here also to, to add is here the, the clipboard. So I will activate it that it is bidirectional and here the drag and drop, I also set it to be bidirectional. Add to the configuration shared folder, I will add it here. I will go and select the folder I want to share. So on my machine there is already a ready folder for, for that, which is here, which is called share with virtual box it's that one so I select the file and I say it should be mounted automatically and it shouldn't be limited to just reading it's read and write so I say for this OK I say here OK just let's check it that it really saved it it is so we say OK and we start the machine so it takes the right size I'm going to log in. So I'm going to open the terminal window. Let's check first that we can copy and paste through the clipboard. So I'm going here to select all that. Copy. And I'm going to launch Notepad. I have here notepad and I will go into edit here and you see that there is something that I can paste, got it in French. So I could paste. So this is the, the proof, huh? it's the, the check that between the guest and the host you can uh, cut and paste. I won't do it in the reverse uh, direction. So now what about uh, accessing to the, the shared files or better said shared folder? I open the file manager and uh, we'll go at the top and actually you see it's already here. You can already open it here. It's how it's defined. It's that directory that is called SF share with virtual box. So I can open it. Okay, I do not have the, the permission as a simple uh, user. So I will do the check in a simple way. I open, I could go simply to my terminal window and launch it there. So I go to media and then SF, change there and now I can look at the content. So there are still restrictions about the, the user right, but when I'm the super user, I have the right to, to do that. So with this, I think I showed the installation of the VirtualBox Linux addition tools, and we checked them with the way to share files between the two environments. It's just what I lately showed. And we also checked that we could copy and paste between the guest and the host. So far, so good. You like the session. There will be additionals. You can sum up the video and then you can subscribe to your channel. Hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.